We are back on the move round London today. We head down to Stamford Bridge to watch a Chelsea side who suffered an awful defeat at home to Arsenal in midweek. West Ham, on the other hand, have a European semi-final awaiting for them on Thursday night. So will their attention be on that today? Even though a win could take them into the European spot, into sixth, they will leapfrog Manchester United. Chelsea must win today to keep that breathing space between them and their London rivals lurking just below them. As well as that, there will be a limited capacity at the bridge today, so I am very, very lucky to get a ticket. It could be a bit of a weird one as Declan Rice faces his possible future side. Let's get down to the bridge. Should be very interesting today. Gunnersbury. I have no clue, what, absolutely no clue where that is. What I do know is it's on the district line near Chelsea. There's been a train diversion around London, so we're running slightly late. But I reckon we can make the game. Let's go. Oh my goodness. I honestly thought we, we were going to miss the game. We still might be a couple of minutes late. But thank God for this train. somehow made it onto the district line. This is, <laughs> this is a proper mission. 15 minutes till kickoff if we make this. We made it. 10 minutes till kickoff. We've got to rush if we want to make this game. We're going to do it. We're actually going to do it. Everyone's late. Everyone is late today. We've done it. We've actually done it. There's a the ground. It's 154. We're going to get in. And then it's a big game. Haven't even made a prediction yet. I'm saying 2 1 Chelsea. West Ham's lineup is so, so weak. Chelsea have Thiago Silva and Havertz back in the 11. West Ham, Antonio and Bowen on the bench. That's huge. It will hinder them today. Their focus is on Thursday. Going for 2 1 Chelsea. Let's get in there. Insert the photo there. Just met Nathaniel Chalaba, Fulham player, brother of Chelsea's Trevor, of course. What a nice guy. Pleasure to meet him. And bang, we've made it. We always make it. It's always a mission with me, but the mission is always completed. What a beautiful sight. Bring it on. We're underway at the bridge. We've moved a bit more central now. West Ham fans over there, they've made a hell of a lot of noise. First 10 minutes, been a pretty quiet game on the pitch. Um, if a team were to score first, it looks like it's going to be Chelsea, but you never know with West Ham, they can always spring a surprise. West Ham and sing Super Declan Rice for their boy over there. He's a Chelsea boyhood. Um, but he is now at West Ham, of course. He is their main star in midfield. Will they miss him today? Oh my God, Saeed Benarama. What can he do? Ooh. That is definitely the biggest chance of the game so far. Chelsea's defence unlocked, just like it was on Wednesday night. They cannot afford to make the same mistakes. But will West Ham miss Declan Rice today? Have to wait and see been a very, very uh, scrappy first 20 minutes. Just need a goal to set this one. Three minutes of added time at the end of this lacklustre first half. Can he decide find the goal? It doesn't look like it whatsoever. West Ham's game plan is more than working today. There we go. There's half time at the bridge. As the teams head in, I think we both know the happier of the two managers. The boys in claret and blue. <laughs> the boy, we love that. The boys in claret and blue will be delighted. However, the home side will be disappointed with that. Now, the cool thing about coming to Stamford Bridge is you're right up close to the pitch. There is the away team bench just behind the tunnel there. 
is where Thomas Tuchel sits on a match day. And I've got to say, although they are a London rival, to me, they are, it is a pretty, pretty nice, compact stadium. I like it. You're right up close to the action. And it is quite cool. Second half to come. There we go. We're back underway for the second half. It's massive for Chelsea. Also got to add in, I've just met ex Wolves and West Ham winger Matt Jarvis pitch side. I think he was doing a TV presenting or something, but what a nice guy he is, what a legend. And Chelsea started this second half. Chelsea definitely started the better in the opening nine minutes. They look likely to find a goal. Also, I've got to give a quick shout out to these West Ham fans. They've been in great voice all day. And what a save. What a save from Lucas Fabianski. That was a deflection from Kante's shot. His movement had to be exceptional. And boy, it was. West Ham fans though, absolutely brilliant. All afternoon, no matter how boring their team's performance have been, non-stop singing. So big up to them, the incredible fan base. We'll see them on Thursday. And the travelling Lions applaud Mr West Ham, Mark Noble, who is replaced by Mr Declan Rice. A familiar face around these ends. He is on the pitch. He's a Chelsea boy at heart, but right now he is an iron through and through. Can he make the difference in the last half an hour? And also, something else I've got to add. Around this place today, I was not expecting the atmosphere that we've had so far whatsoever. It has been electric, and I don't understand how. With a limited number of people here, the Chelsea fans still managing to make such a good noise even when their team aren't at their best they get right behind the boys in blue and that is true support so well done to the Chelsea fans honestly sensational support from them and now Jared Bowen preparing to come on oh surely surely now it just won't go in you can see the reaction it just won't go in like I was just saying Jared Bowen, so often this season, been West Ham's saviour and their main man. He is about to make his way onto the pitch for the final 20 minutes. Off comes Yarmolenko, replaced by that man, and he receives a great West Ham welcome. Can he do the business? Also, off. Round of applause for Kai Havertz. Not been his day today, but he'll be hoping his side can finally find this goal. Which I have absolutely no idea how they have not found yet. They've only got 11 minutes plus at a time to find that goal. It's a penalty to Chelsea with five minutes to go. Romelu Lukaku was fouled inside the box. He was pulled down by one of the West Ham defenders. Michael Oliver does not hesitate in pointing to the spot. Stamford Bridge holds their breath with absolute nerve. But of course, Matthew Harding sing Jorginho. Oh, checking possible red cards. I definitely think that's a possibility. I'm not sure who it was, but Michael Oliver is going to the monitor to check. Cheerio, says this man. There we go. It's a red card. Craig Dawson is off. The Chelsea band wave 
goodbye and he will miss West Ham's next three matches. I don't know if you got you can kind of see it there. He's pulled down Lukaku. And now up steps Jorginho. I don't believe it. I do not believe it. What a mark Jorginho is. What a chance he has just missed. And the West Ham fans in that corner over there go absolutely mental.